Peter Tobin was a notorious Scottish serial killer whose heinous crimes shocked the United Kingdom. His series of brutal murders in the late 20th and early 21st centuries were marked by a chilling blend of premeditation and opportunism. Early Life and Background Peter Tobin was born in Johnstone, Renfrewshire, in 1946. His early life was seemingly unremarkable, but it harbored the seeds of the monstrous persona he would later reveal. Details about his upbringing are sparse, but what is known points to a troubled individual with deep-seated issues. The murders Tobin's reign of terror came to light with the discovery of three young women who fell victim to his murderous impulses, Angelica Cluck, Vicky Hamilton, and Dinah McNichol. Each murder was marked by a distinct level of brutality and heartlessness that stunned law enforcement and the public alike. Angelica Cluck, 23, Angelica, a Polish student, was murdered in 2006 in Glasgow. Her body was found hidden under the floorboards of a church, leading to a nationwide manhunt that eventually pointed to Tobin as the culprit. This case was particularly shocking due to its setting and the gruesome manner in which Angelica was killed. Vicky Hamilton, 15 The disappearance of Vicky in 1991 remained a mystery for years until Tobin's eventual arrest. Her remains were discovered buried in the garden of a house previously occupied by Tobin. The discovery provided a harrowing closure to a case that had remained unsolved for over a decade. Dinah McNichol, 18. Similar to Vicky Hamilton, Dinah's remains were found alongside those of Vicky in 2007. She had been missing since 1991, and her discovery further cemented Tobin's status as a serial killer. Investigation and Conviction The investigation into Tobin's crimes was a complex and protracted process. It involved piecing together disparate clues and testimonies, often stretching across different jurisdictions and time periods. The breakthrough in the cases came with advanced forensic techniques which linked Tobin to the murders. Tobin was convicted in separate trials for each of the murders. His trials were marked by a lack of remorse and a chilling detachment from his heinous acts. He received life sentences, effectively ensuring that he would spend the remainder of his life behind bars. Impact and Legacy The legacy of Peter Tobin's crimes is a somber one. He left behind a trail of pain and loss that affected the families of his victims and the communities where he committed his crimes. His case also prompted a re-evaluation of how missing persons cases are handled and investigated in the UK. Moreover, Tobin's case raised questions about the nature of evil and the psyche of serial killers. His ability to evade capture for many years pointed to a cunning and manipulative individual who knew how to exploit the vulnerabilities of his victims and the system. Peter Tobin's story is a stark reminder of the depths of human depravity. His crimes, while horrific, have also served as a catalyst for improvements in criminal investigations and heightened awareness about the safety of young women. The memory of his victims, Angelica Cluck, Vicky Hamilton and Dinah McNichol, continues to resonate, serving as a tragic reminder of lives cut short by a remorseless killer. The case of Peter Tobin offers a disturbing glimpse into the mind of a serial killer. Forensic psychologists who studied his behavior noted several key traits common among serial offenders. A lack of empathy, manipulative tendencies, and a propensity for violence. Tobin's ability to lead a seemingly normal life while harboring such dark secrets is a chilling reminder of the complexity of human psychology. The Role of Forensic Science A pivotal factor in Tobin's eventual capture and conviction was the advancement of forensic science. DNA evidence played a crucial role in linking Tobin to his crimes, 
This was particularly significant in the cases of Vicky Hamilton and Dinah McNicol, where the passage of time had made other forms of evidence scarce. The Tobin case underscores the importance of forensic science in solving cold cases and providing justice for victims. Tobin's crimes led to changes in how law enforcement approaches similar cases. There was a renewed focus on the importance of cross-jurisdictional cooperation and data sharing as Tobin had committed crimes in different areas of the UK. Additionally, his case highlighted the need for improved methods in tracking and apprehending serial offenders, leading to advancements in investigative techniques and technologies. Societal Reactions and Media Coverage The media coverage of Peter Tobin's crimes was extensive and often sensationalized, which raised ethical questions about the portrayal of violent crime in the media. The public's fascination with the case brought attention to the broader issues of violence against women and the safety of vulnerable groups in society. This coverage also led to a heightened bubble, 